It is one of the busiest streets in Nairobi. On it is a building that carries decades of memories and history of Kenya. Every space tells the story of a country getting ready to celebrate her golden jubilee. This, the Murumbi African Art Gallery on the first floor of the Kenya National Archives, home to the Kenyatta Corner, a section dedicated to Kenya's first president, the late Mze Jomo Kenyatta. Kenyatta, the carpenter. Kenyatta, a loving father. Kenyatta, the freedom fighter. Kenyatta, who had time for fun, and Kenyatta, Arabe! the president, all captured in these pictures. It is this barrier, however, that introduces us to a memory which is not only highly protected, but valued. So I'm lucky to be a small friend. The director of the National Archives, John Mreria, allows me to cross the line beyond which members of the public are allowed. When Kenya became independent on 12th December 1963, a chair handcrafted from mature oak timber and thick non-fading design leather was made. The president's chair. It was brought here in 1985, seven years after Jomo Kenyatta's death. The office of the president uh, called the Kenya National Archives to go and collect these valuable items, the presidential seat and the presidential standard. The Kenya National Archives has been preserving these materials but on display for the members of the public to view them. Both of them are very symbolic to Kenya because they are synonymous with the 50 years we are about to celebrate. No one is allowed to sit on the chair whose leather is slowly fading and the one strong mood now weak. It would have actually gone through wear and tear a long time ago yeah, because it is a seat of interest. Yeah, anybody would like to feel as the president was feeling those days when he was sitting on it. I'm not allowed to sit on it. <laughs> but I had a chance to feel like one. With Kenya celebrating 50 years since attaining independence, I had a rare privilege. The director of the Kenya National Archives gave me the rare chance to sit on the 50-year-old chair. It is a status symbol because it will live as long as the Kenya National Archives lives because this is the memory of the state. A, a, a state seat, a presidential seat. This tidy seat with the national emblem was a symbol of nationhood, freedom, comfort, and for 15 years, the first president of Kenya used it during state functions and at state house. If this chair could speak, it could perhaps tell the story of a man who was not only strict but a disciplinarian, according to those who interacted with him. Yeah, I think he had a lot of power. And uh... dissenting views were not Kenyatta, in Kenyatta's vocabulary, no. Upon his death, once again the chair became a symbol of his spirit ideals and all that he stood for. It was perhaps perceived as the seat of power and 50 years after independence Kenyans flocked the National Archives to have a glimpse. Normally members of the public are not allowed to sit on this but for the lucky few like me it is a privilege. Judy Kosge, Citizen TV at the National Archives, Nairobi.